This is Five on Your Side at 6, focused on you. Tonight, new details about what led up to a shootout between St. Louis County Police and a man near a busy shopping center. Thank you for being with us. I'm Ann Allred. And I'm Mike Bush. Police say that man opened fire on them first in North County on Parker Road near Florissant. Five on Your Side's Diamond Palmer is live there tonight with what she's learning from investigators. Diamond. Good evening, Mike and Ann. Well, this incident happened all this morning at 1130 AM when a man actually robbed a woman of her car keys. Now he got into that vehicle and then briefly got out. An officer patrolling this area was actually hearing the calls come in and came to this scene and made contact with the suspect first. Now the suspect began firing multiple shots at the officer and his cruiser was struck multiple times. The officer who was not hit fired back wounding the suspect. I'm just thankful that, you know, my kids are older and they understand they're not doing this. And it just makes me so mad that I see this every day, every day, no matter where I'm going out here in this area. Now, officers were able to administer um, aid to this suspect, and he is facing non-life threatening injuries at an area hospital. Now, again, officers were not injured in this incident, but they do say that body camera footage will be made available after this investigation concludes. Reporting in North County, Diamond Palmer, 5 on your side. If you're driving in Missouri, you need to put the phone down and keep your hands on the wheel. The state's hands-free law went into effect today. It bans you from using your cell phone while driving. That means no texting, reading, recording, sending, or watching those videos. You are allowed to use Bluetooth or voice-activated features. Another ban went into effect in Missouri today. This one on gender-affirming care for minors and adults on Medicaid. A court ruling Friday said the state can implement the ban while the lawsuit continues. Now trans advocacy groups are taking their stories public. Our political editor, Mark Maxwell, is here with new details on their push. Mark. Mike, trans care for teens has attracted so much attention in political circles. Advocates are hoping to hit something of a reset button and reframe the conversation in medical, academic, and personal terms, centering around their own lived experiences. As Missouri's ban on gender-affirming care for minors goes into effect. I came out as trans, um, about three years ago. People in the trans community are speaking out. Queer people have always said like visibility is really, really important for us. Avi Ivaturi fields hotline phone calls from queer and trans people in distress. You know, there's all this legal jargon going around. What does this mean for me? We can help figure out what that does mean. Avi says those calls are coming in at a higher rate these days. Obviously this is like alarming news and and really overwhelming and frustrating in part because trans people wonder what the changes in the law might mean for their place in public life when i was younger looking up i didn't see people like me in society and successful doctors helped arrow royston undergo gender transition procedures at 22. we need to come out we need to tell our stories we need to see people like us thriving. Now he manages workers at a Fortune 500 company and advocates for change in the community. He feels the supercharged political debate around gender affirming care for minors misunderstands key points in the medical process. If you don't transition before puberty, it can have impacts on your, your ability to blend in with society. And that's why like, it's really important because that takes a huge toll on people's mental health. That's why Promo Missouri is calling on trans people to speak up and tell their stories to break through barriers. I just want to live my life and go walk around and not have people like, oh, is that, who is that? What are they doing? I can live my life authentically. I mind my business, which is what most people should do, and go about my day. His message for trans teens impacted by Missouri's ban. You have a place in this society. You can be successful. You can be here, and we want you here. And just moments ago, Missouri Attorney General Andrew Bailey's office sent us a copy of a cease and desist letter he sent to doctors in St. Louis and Kansas City, telling them they can no longer prescribe puberty blockers or cross-sex hormones to any new minor patients. Minors already undergoing that care can continue, but cannot receive any gender reassignment surgery operations, which is already highly uncommon and rare for minors. Mayor Tashara Jones says the city of St. Louis, like others across the country, is in a hiring crisis, especially when it comes to 911 dispatchers. She's hoping a new law that took effect today might help get more people to work for the city. Our Christine Byers is here to break it down for us. Christine. 
And Mayor Jones says the city has 700 open positions right now across all departments. And the 911 dispatch center is among them. That's about 11% of the city's total workforce. Today, a law that says you no longer need to live in the city to work in the city went into effect. Jones is hoping the move will widen the hiring pool. Airport employee Jerry Moore is a new hire at St. Louis Lambert International Airport, a job he was once not eligible for. I live in St. Louis County. I've uh, been there for over 20 years. He was one of several city employees who joined Mayor Tashara Jones to kick off a new era in the city's hiring practices. The new policy allows people like me, I'm a new hire, um, the flexibility of serving the city uh, with the flexibility of staying where I presently live. In 2020, St. Louis dipped its toe into lifting residency requirements for police officers. There was a three-year sunset on the legislation and unions fought to make it permanent and apply to all city employees. I've long said that I want St. Louis to win again, but it takes more than just a mayor to get it done. Jones says it takes a team. Folks who are willing to trim trees and pick up trash who can stay calm under pressure when someone's in crisis calls 911 or to work behind the scenes to keep our core systems running. Public Utilities Director Kurt Scooby says 30% of positions in his department are vacant and residency is a hiring hurdle. It's a um, often cited reason to decline a um, offer for um, coming to work for the city of St. Louis and this should correct that. Mayor Jones says her administration has also instituted a bonus of $1,500 to $3,000 for new hires. And she's giving priority to 911 dispatchers, garbage truck drivers, utility workers, and tree trimmers. I've included a link on how to apply for a city job in my story in the As Seen on TV section of KSDK.com. Now to a live look at Bush Stadium, a nice night for a ball game. Cardinals back in town, opening a three-game series against the San Diego Padres. Chief Meteorologist Scott Connell has our weather first forecast. Well, we are talking about a beautiful evening weather-wise in St. Louis. There's no doubt about that. As to whether the ball game is going to be beautiful, well, <laughs> Heaven help the Cardinals. All right, we are looking at temperatures in the upper 70s, lower 80s right now. The big difference between this week and last week, the humidity much lower and our temperatures running way lower than they were last week. Only topped out at 83 degrees this afternoon around the metro area. Whether you're coming down to Bush Stadium or perhaps you're going to watch the Cardinals on TV out on the deck or the patio. It's a lovely evening right around 80 here. Now we'll drop back to 73 by nine o'clock tonight. It's a beautiful evening all around the St. Louis area. Just a couple of scattered clouds. So looking good here as we head through the remainder of this week. Overall, there's little if any rain this week. The one chance will come in about the next 30 hours and then it's much warmer by Labor Day. We'll track that rain or what little bit of it there might be. Plus a look at Idalia in just a little bit.